This week on GC Unboxing, we have got some of the most stylish boxes I think I've ever seen. But even better than that, there's actually something cool inside. Physique Zero Zero Saddles, the top of their range, and some of the most exclusive and sought after saddles that money can buy. Except, this is GC Unboxing, and you might not actually have to buy one because we are giving them away. So you could win one, and you, and you. Now, why three? Why are there three boxes on this table? Well, there are three saddles in the Physique Zero Zero range, each with a slightly different shape, suiting a slightly different shape of ass. But it's not just about your ass. I'll explain more about that later on. Let's see the first type then, shall we? I'm not entirely sure which one I've got here, which model, because that box is sexily stealthy. Aside from high performance professional cycling saddle. And it's hard to argue with that bit, given that nearly 50% of cycling's professional world tour actually use physique saddles. Are you ready for this? Oh, there she is. Look at that. This is the Arione model. Just look at that. That is a work of art. If you appreciate good craftsmanship, I think you are gonna love that. Check it out, I mean, carbon rails, but they're one piece bonded to the shell. And then, as I said, it's bonded onto a carbon shell, but that's two layers of carbon. So physique say that one is for strength and stiffness, and then one is for flexibility and comfort, particularly on these side sections there, on the wings, the bit that your thighs come into contact with. We've got a microtex cover, not a leather cover, but just look at that two-tone black. And then that sits on a very thin layer of physique's own padding. And then perhaps, weirdly, my favorite bit of all, given that you wouldn't ever look at it, but just check out how neat that edging is there. That's borderline work of art. That is very cool. And it is all made in-house in Italy. A handmade saddle. Right, let's see how much they weigh. We'll consult the trusty GCN scales. 144 grams. A light work of art, I think you'll agree. If a saddle could ever be considered iconic, I think this one is getting pretty close. That shape is something of a classic. Now, it was launched back in 2002, and it's since then it's only really been refined rather than redesigned. And which I think is a good thing, because I look for a little bit of continuity in my saddles. After all, it's unlikely that bums will change in 14 years, so why should a saddle? Interesting saddle fact for you, and I appreciate that sounds like a contradiction in terms, but it's not. When this was launched, it actually broke a UCI rule. It was the rule governing the length of your saddle, because this was actually three centimeters too long. But, give them credit, the UCI amended their rule as of January 2003 to allow for the Arione to be used in competition. Enough Arione for now. We've got two more boxes to check out. The Antares, which means that the last one should be the Aliente. And there it is. Look at that. Let's get back to why we've got three saddles in front of us then. They all share exactly the same construction, but they clearly differ very much in the way that they look. And as I mentioned earlier, Physique have looked at the whole issue of saddle fit holistically, so beyond your ass, if you will. And what they've done is they've decided that actually saddle fit is as much to do with your flexibility as anything else. And they called it their spine concept. So this, the Arione, is designed for the most flexible of riders, and it's characterized by that flat top there. Whereas this, at the other end of the spectrum, the Aliante, is designed for the least flexible of riders. And as you can see, that's got quite a marked dip in it. And that means that if you so wish, you can actually lean further forward over the bars without actually having to bend at your spine at all. Which means that this one, the Antares, fills the gap in the middle. So it's not quite as flat as the Arione, but then it doesn't have that dip that the Aliante has either. Now, they differ in other respects as well. The Arione famously is very long, 300 millimeters in fact, whereas the other two are much shorter at 275 millimeters. And then this one is significantly narrower, 132 millimeters wide 
at its broadest point, whereas that and this are 140 and 142 millimeters wide, respectively. Should we put them all on the scales? Come on, we want to see what they all weigh. 140 grams for your Antares. And 176 for your Aliante. A little bit more padding going on there. So which of these saddles is the most popular, I hear you ask? Well, given that nearly 50% of the professional peloton use physique saddles, we've got a pretty good sample pool. And out of those riders, 24% use this, the Aliante. Then, 33% use this, the Antares. Which means, do you maths, 43% use the Arione. But then which, perhaps more importantly, GCN presenter uses which saddle? Dan, Matt, and Lasty all use the Antares. Whereas I use the Arione. Which one of these then would you choose? That is the question. And it is actually a genuine question because we will ask you to pick which one of these you would like to try and win when you enter the competition. The Arione, the Antares, or the Aliante. Now, if you need a bit more information about which one to choose, then do head over to the Physique website. If you want to just enter the competition now, however, oh, you've just got to click just up there. A large part of getting comfortable on your saddle, though, is finding the correct saddle height. And we've got a cracking little video that will tell you exactly how to do it, and you can get through to it just by clicking up there. Or for another chance at getting through to that competition, just down there, click on that link, and it will take you straight there. Otherwise, do make sure you subscribe to GCN. You don't want to miss any more unboxing videos, do you? Click on subscribe.